Welcome to Excel 2010 Business Math video number 64. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel 2010 Business Math Chapter 7, click on the link below the video. Hey, we're on the sheet uh, Cash Discounts. Now, so far in the class, we've talked about trade discounts. Now we're going to talk about cash discounts. They're totally different. Trade discounts is just the dollar amount that you reduce from the list price to get your net cost. List price minus net cost uh, equals difference between suggested price for customer and what you paid for, right? So that's a trade discount. That's only when you're buying wholesale. You're a business buying from another business, all right? Well, cash discounts are totally different. They don't apply to individual items like they they did for uh, trade discounts. They're just flat out, hey, the invoice total, if you pay your invoice quickly, will give you a small discount. Now, I want to point out something. The textbook in section 7.1 says net cost equals list price plus tra uh, minus trade discount. We did that, and we did already did like 20 calculations like this throughout these videos. But then what happens is in section 7.3, they say net cost equals list price minus trade discount minus cash discount, because these are not the same. Here's what I'd like to say. List price minus trade discount, that's what we've done the last five or six videos, right? That's wholesale cost. That's what one business pays to another for an individual item. I don't like net cost, really. That's why I kept referring to it in earlier videos as wholesale cost. Here in this chapter, we're going to have an invoice total. If we pay this invoice, if we pay this invoice early, the business will give us a small cash discount. And if we subtract that, that'll be our net invoice total paid, not net cost. All right. Now, cash discounts are just straightforward, not that hard to understand. Here's our example. If we pay the invoice total early, we get a 2% discount. So you have an invoice. The business that sold you the goods, that gave you the invoice, says if you pay quickly, like within 10 days, we're going to give you 2% off of the total. And the total usually doesn't include shipping insurance. It's just the total on all the goods. So what's our discount? Equals round. That is an invoice total right there. We're getting a, t a discount on the invoice total. All right, times what? 2%. That's our discount, comma 2. And then here's the amount to pay. I take the invoice total minus this 2% discount. Now, why in the world would businesses do this? Um, cash discounts given if you pay your invoice early, it's an incentive to pay your invoice early. Cash is so important. And if someone sells you a bunch of goods, like the, the example we've been using in, in uh, this chapter is, Kite Flight buys boomerangs from the manufacturer, right? Well, the manufacturer of gel boomerangs, they want to get you to pay back your invoice total quickly. So that's why they offer cash discounts. It's an incentive to pay invoice total early. So here's what's called the ordinary dating method for cash discounts. At the bottom of the invoice, or somewhere in the invoice, you'll see terms 2, 10, net 30. And what it means is, the 2 means you get a 2% discount if you pay within 10 days from the invoice date. Otherwise, the net 30 means you have to pay the invoice within 30 days. If you pay past the 30 days, then there is probably going to be a penalty. Now, there's some notes over here, things like, if it doesn't say net 30, it's assumed to be 20 days past the 10-day discount period. Also that holidays and Sundays are not counted, right? So if you count to a 10 and it's a Sunday, then you go to the next day. And there's some other things also. Uh, but it's all governed by contract. So if you're a business and you're buying from people, sometimes it's on the back of the invoice. Other times you get, when you uh, apply for credit, you get a contract. But it's all in the contract. So here's the deal, 210 net 
30, 2% discount if you pay within 10 days, otherwise pay the total within 30 days. So anytime we see this, we have to like split it out. What's the cash discount? It's two, and I pre-formatted that. What's the number of days we must pay early to get the discount? 10. Number of days we must pay an invoice before getting a late fee? 30. So if this is our invoice date, and this is the date we paid. We want to make some calculations. Now I'm going to show you two different methods here, all right? We already saw these two in our last video. Final discount date and final date invoices due. It's just date plus the number. So let's do this. The final discount date equals the invoice date plus our 10. Final date the invoice is due. If we don't, if we miss our discount date, then what, what's the final date? Invoice date plus 30. So 12, 7. Oops. Now I'm going to click here. And I want to look. Here's the date we paid. Here's the invoice date. How many days between? The later date minus the earlier date. So this is the date we paid minus the invoice date. Now, you can always do this, because even if it's on the same day, it comes out 0, right? Five days. So are we within the 10? Yes. Now, I'd like a formula to tell me true or false. So I'm going to say equals is this. And what's the question? Now, all of us can do this in our brain, right? We can look and see that that's less than that. But the, the logical test has to be less than equal to, because if you're exactly 10 days, 10 days out, you get the discount. So it's 5 less than or equal to 10. Now method 2. Let's look at these two dates right here. Here's the date we paid, and here's the final discount date. If the date we paid is less than or equal to this, then we get our discount. So if you decide to do it with your dates, the formula would be, oh, it's very similar. You just say, hey, is the date we paid less than or equal to this? Now, this is a logical formula. It only comes out true or false. And if the day we pay is 17, we absolutely get the discount. All right, true. Here's the total. Now it's a simple matter. Now that we know that we get the discount, now we get to calculate it. Equals round. The invoice total times our 2%, comma 2. Amount we pay equals invoice. That's the invoice total. It's really a subtotal without shipping or insur insurance, minus our discount. The reason that the business gave us this discount, if we're paying, is because they want to get they want to try and get their cash paid early. By the way, in, this is not a finance class, but where else can you earn 2% uh, for such a short amount of time, right? So it's always worth it. Businesses actually will go out and borrow money so that they can pay all of their invoices early before the discount date. Now let's look at a second example here. We're going to use the complement method, which we've done a lot already in this class. Ordinary dating method, same exact information. Right, 2% if we pay within 10 days, otherwise pay within 30. The invoice was issued on the 7th, and we paid it on the 17th. So what, what are the number of days uh, since the invoice date? Paid minus the invoice date. Do we get it if it's 10? You betcha. And here's the formula, right? Is 10 days, that's how many days since the invoice until we paid it. Is that less than or equal to 10? Ding, 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 ding. If that's the case, then you get the discount. So equals round invoice total times. Now, if we subtract 2%, we could do it in two steps. But as we've seen so many times in this uh, chapter so far, we can just get to the end result by taking 1 minus the discount. So we'll use the complement method. In essence, what are they saying? 
When you are given a 2% discount, it means for every dollar, we're going to take two pennies off. And so if I highlight this and hit the F9 key to evaluate the complement of 1 minus 2%, that's 0.98. So here's all the dollars. Here's the 90 cent, 98 cents. So you only have to pay 98 cents on each dollar. And so when we do this multiplication, it'll give us our amount to pay. And I'm going to Control Z because I wanna, don't want to hard code that in. Comma 2. That's the complement method. 701.73, uh, that's the same thing. Up here, we calculated the discount separately, subtracted the two. Here, we just used the complement method. All right, let's go look at a few other ordinary discount methods. So over here, now here's an invoice, right? So this is straight from the invoice. You see, read down here, it says 115 net 45. 1% 1 discount if you pay within 50, 15 days. Otherwise, please pay us within 45 or we uh, might give you a penalty. So the cash discount is 1%. I pre-formatted it. Number of days we must pay early, 15. Number of days before getting a late fee, 45. Invoice date, date that we paid, number of days since the invoice. OK, so we paid here. We know that underneath there is a serial number. This was the day that they issued it. So take the difference between these two, and that'll tell us how many days uh, between these two dates. So equals this minus this. It means on the day we pay this, there have been 14 days elapse. Now can I take the discount? Equals is 14 less than or equal to 15. True. Invoice. Now here's shipping. You can't use this number here. you got to use this number. Now occasionally there's situations, but the vast majority of businesses are not going to charge you. Really, the way people do things in the business world is all over the place. So what you learn in a class like this is, is uh, like what most people do. All right, at invoice subtotal. I know from my own experience, there were occasionally invoices where, yes, you took the, the total, total amount. But not in this class. Every single problem says, no, 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 don't do the shipping. All right, discount. So I'm going to calculate the uh, Discount here, round. I'm going to do this in two separate steps here, all right? So I'm going to take the invoice subtotal times our 1%, comma 2. Um, so that's our actual discount amount. And now I'm going to say shipping. Ah, because now the amount that we actually send off if shipping is listed, and shipping always is, isn't always listed, we take this minus this plus that. So this is the subtotal. We calculated our cash discount off the subtotal, subtracted them. But now when we're writing the check, we also have to pay for the shipping, 73.89. All right, now let's go over to ordinary three. We have 215, 130 net 45. This is a slightly different situation. They give you two sets of uh, possible discounts. If you pay within 15, you get 2%. Otherwise, if you pay within 30, which really means between 16 and 30, you get 1%. Otherwise, pay us the full amount with no discount within 45 days. So here's our invoice date, and this is the date paid. So I'm going to count number of days. Here's the day we paid. I need to figure out the difference between these. So on the day that we paid, how many days have elapsed? Always the later date minus the earlier date. So 18. Now I'm going to come over here and look. OK, so I'm past there. That means I get a 1%. So I'm going to put 1%. It's pre-formatted. And the number of days I must pay early have to pay 30, right? I'm looking there. Number of days before getting a late fee, well, that's 45. So I'm going to put that there. 
So those are the terms that I extract when I read something like this. All right, now I already uh, calculated this the same way we did the last one. And we're getting a discount. It's just this time it is, in fact, we'll do this again. Can we take the discount? The key is to say is 18 less than or equal to the 30. True. Invoice subtotal, I'm going to get this. Discount, this times 1%, comma 2. Shipping is, and the total is equals boop, minus plus this. So I subtract the discount, but I have to add the shipping. All right, for 7389. And we have one last example over here on the as of. So this invoice says as of. Here's the invoice date right here. But it says as of. And it means they're going to give you a few extra days. So you're going to start counting your uh, discount date and final due date from that date. All right. So down here we see our terms, 115 net 90. So our discount is going to be 1. We have to, uh, if we pay within 15 days, we get a 1% discount. Um, otherwise, we have to pay within 90. Here's the date, the as of. Actually, I shouldn't have had them there. As of, we got to be sure and get that, not that. Now we compare it to when we paid. So it's the later date minus the earlier date. Ooh, there's no discount here if we do our formula. Is 90 less than or equal to uh, 15? Now, you know, you're doing this. By eye, you can immediately go and calculate it. You, this kind of formula is great if you have a template where you just plug in the numbers here and you want everything to automatically calculate. Right? False. So what's the discount? Zero. So our formula then is the same formula. The invoice total minus zero plus this. So 7305, uh, which is exactly the total we have there. All right, that's the end of section 7.3. Well, you can go do the homework for 7.3. And when we come back, we'll see uh, the final section, which is other methods for calculating cash discounts. All right, see you next video.